Today, we're going to be checking out the power station that's popping up everywhere, the Ampace Andes 1500. It promises a lot with almost 1500 watts of capacity, fast charging, residential grade, LiPo4 cells, and 2400 watts of continuous output. But will it actually live up to the hype under my test conditions? What do you get? How does it perform? And is it right for you? This is a complete overview of everything you need to know about the Andes 1500. I'll be providing testing results and sharing exactly what I found that I like and dislike about this power station throughout the video. So hang with me for just a couple of minutes to learn everything you need to know about the Amp Pace Andes 1500 in one single video. And welcome to the solar pit. Let's get started. What's included in the box? You're gonna get the Andes 1500 portable power station, the AC charging cable, a car socket charging cable, an accessory bag, a manual, and the warranty card. And right out of the box, this thing feels like it is built with quality. It has a nice gray and black matte finish, and it has some nice elegant and smooth curves with those nice LED ambient lights on top of it. You could tell that Ant Pace didn't skimp on design. This does have dual grip handles at the top of the power station, so it makes it easier to pack this thing around. I have seen power stations of this size only have one handle. I prefer to have two handles, and I think that this was thoughtfully designed the way that they did it at the top. It also has solid rubber feet at the bottom, and we have bumpers around the edges at the bottom and at the top. So amp pace, you did a good job with that. And here's a quick rundown of everything to get you a little bit more familiar with the specifications. This is a 2400 watt pure sine wave inverter that has a battery capacity of 1,462 watt hours of capacity. There is 13 total outputs, four AC outlets, four USB-A ports at 18 watts max, two USB-C ports at 100 watts max, one car outlet at 120 watts, two DC 5521 ports at 120 watts, LED display screen, solar input, AC input, a battery expansion port, and the dimensions are 13 and a half inches tall, eight inches wide, and 17 and a half inches deep. And this unit weighs in at 36.6 pounds. The product warranty on this is five years. So let's talk a little bit more about that inverter. The 2400 watts is continuous output. During testing, I did completely discharge the system from 100% to 0% at a discharge rate very close to 2400 watts of max output with absolutely no issues. When I tested the efficiency of the inverter, I managed to pull out 1,344 watt hours of the rated 1,462 watt hours of capacity, which puts this inverter at a very impressive 91.95%. That's elite level performance. Only a few power stations that I've ever tested have broken 91 and even gotten close to 92% bare in real world use. So the uh, Amp Pace Andes 1500 is one of the most efficient portable power stations that I've ever tested. The Andes 1500 runs ultra quiet. It's a crucial factor if you're using this indoors or anywhere noise could be a distraction. Under 600 watts of load, this is virtually silent, blending right into the background noise. But I like to push things, so I tested it while charging at full rate of 1800 watts of input. And even with the fans at full blast and the sound meter right here at the top, it came in right at 55 decimals, right next to the unit. That's quieter than a casual conversation. So ultimately, this is a very quiet portable power station, especially if you're not using it at full blast. But even if you are, it's still not louder than just having that uh, casual conversation. The power station is equipped with a UPS function, and that stands for an uninterrupted power supply. If a power outage occurs while you're using this as backup, the system automatically kicks in seamlessly at 20 millisecond on the switchover. So fast, you won't even notice that the power went out. Now let's talk about the second half of the portable power station, and that's the battery. 
the battery chemistry that this is using is in residential grade LiPo 4 battery cells, which are rated at 6,000 charge cycles to 80%. That's over a decade of regular use, and those are backed by a five-year manufacturer warranty with a life expectancy of over 10 years. So this is clearly designed for the long haul. The power station comes with 1,462 watt hours of built-in capacity, and it includes a dedicated expansion port, giving you the option to boost the storage with seven additional expansion batteries for a total of 11,696 watt hours of capacity. <laughs> now that we know about the inverter and we know about the battery, let's talk about the charging options that we have with the Andes 1500. With AC charging, you can charge at a max rate of 1800 watts of input, charging this up from 0% to 100% in 55 minutes. With solar charging, it supports a voltage range of 11 to 60 volts for a max of 600 watts of solar input. With the car charger, you can charge up at 96 watts, so you can charge this up while you're going down the road. So more importantly, uh, we're gonna go back to the efficiency because I wanted to put this in at charging. With AC charging efficiency, it used 1,661 watt hours to completely charge the battery from 0% to 100%, giving an estimated efficiency on the AC charging side of 88%. That is a very good number. Again, this is one of the most efficient portable power stations that I've ever tested personally. And there's always concern when we start talking about anything with electricity or with batteries in it. So the safety functions that are built in with the Andes 1500, it's equipped with an advanced battery management system that protects against low and high temperatures, over current, over load, over voltage, under voltage, short circuit, disconnection, leakage, and more. The intelligent safety net helps prevent critical failures that cause fires and explosions. So this is giving you peace of mind every time you power it up. Once you get this connected to the app, you can monitor performance in real time and make key adjustments from anywhere in the world. The app keeps things simple. It's not overloaded with complex features and it actually makes it easy to use. Most users will appreciate the straightforward interface and the minimal learning curve that is with that app. Now, I did encounter a technical issue when I was trying to monitor the power station in Wi-Fi only mode. Uh, it was showing that the AC output was switching from 2,250 watts to 1,450 watts to even turned off, although the power station was not doing any of that. This is something that can be easily corrected when or if Ampace app developers see this video and update the app. This is one reason that I always suggest updating to the latest firmware of the portable power station and the latest versions of the apps. So I'm very confident that Ampace will resolve this issue. It's not anything to do with the portable power station itself. It's the communication between the app and the portable power station. And that's not to say that I wasn't having some type of interference with my Wi-Fi that was causing that. So I do want to point it out that I experienced that. I'm not sure if anybody else is. If you're a user of this and you're experiencing anything like that, leave me a comment below. And if you're not, leave me a comment below so we can all learn from it. Every power station has its limits and it's my job to spot the potential deal breakers. With the Amp Pace Andes 1500, I didn't find any, but there are a few areas that I would like to see made improvements on. The first one is when you try to overload the system. And I wouldn't recommend running any power station at its max output every time you go to use it. But when I did try to overload the system, I did notice that it drops the voltage to maintain the appliances that it's uh, running. And this might be a concern if you're backing up sensitive electronics or appliances that can't handle you know, voltage fluctuations. Now, like I said, you should not be trying to run this at over 2,400 watts all the time anyway. So if you're running anything, say 2,200 watts or below, you're never gonna see that, but it's once you try to overload the system, and that's my job to push these things to the extreme, you may see that voltage 
you know, drop so it can try to maintain running that appliance. And that could be a concern if you're running uh, sensitive appliances. Now, I don't know why you would be running sensitive appliances or uh, electronics to try to be maxing this thing out. Uh, I would probably suggest if you're gonna be using over 2,400 watts, that you pick up a larger portable power station. But anything 2,400 watts or less, you would probably never experience that voltage drop. Next, I would like to see a little more solar input. And I think that is just a general consensus for us all that while 600 is fine for sunny days and for this base unit, it may fall short if expansion batteries are added, especially if battery capacity is maxed out at 11,696 watt hours. A couple things I think can be updated very easily are these ambient lights. They can be distracting while charging and there's no way to turn them off while you're charging. Although I did find a way to turn these on and off in the different settings while you have it in standby mode, there was no way to turn them off when I was charging the unit. And my last picky point is a never screen out option is needed. So this screen, I like to have it on at all times, especially when I'm using a portable power station. And there was no way of doing that from within the app or on the portable power station itself. And my final verdict on the Amp Pace Andy's 1500 is that I do recommend it. And I think it's perfect for people that go camping or that are on the go and need backup job sites, tailgaters, or just powering essential appliances in the event of a power outage. I think this is a very solid portable power station. I love the fact that the efficiency outperforms on the discharge and the input. So for me, I'm confident enough to say that I would recommend the Amp Pace Andes 1500. Plus, how could you turn down something that looks this cool? <laughs> I think they did an absolutely fantastic job of making this basically the talk of the party um, and it does perform well so hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in my next one